what's going on guys my name is Corey aka blockchain and I am a full-time professional trader um, and I wanted to just make sure I did a quick video for a very exciting announcement I'm actually gonna be giving away one of my master classes at the end of this month it's a $500 value completely free to you all you have to do is make sure you comment subscribe um, smash the likes on this video and you will be entered to win I will be doing the drawing at the end of the month um, for one lucky winner um, and all you have to do is support my YouTube channel here. So make sure you smash the likes, hit that subscribe button, comment below, um, and you will have an automatic entry to the free masterclass. And um, yes, you can do it on multiple videos. So each time you do it on one of my videos, it will give you an entry. So the more, the better. So again, guys, smash the likes, hit that subscribe, ring that little bell, comment below, and um, good luck. And let's go ahead and dive into the charts. Right, what's going on everybody it is blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update i'm going to stick with the coins i have at the moment uh such as bitcoin ethereum xtz tezos and link um if you guys would like me to add in another coin or two or just have a special request to do one um on a video over the next week or so um you know let me know just drop it in the comments below the video but for those of you new to my channel um we are starting off on blockchain tatrading.com make sure you guys jump over there link is below i'm actually giving away my number one trading strategy strategy that is consistent profitable reliable and applicable to every market hit this little get in touch and i'll actually email you over a the video demonstration so that we can see exactly how to set it up what i use and how to uh, play it so I uh, also have the blockchain gear and of course the discord memberships uh, where it is a 14 day trial for just 25 bucks so pretty screaming deal just to get in and see what it's about uh, whereas there's over a thousand or over a thousand traders um, including full-time professionals such as myself that are in there posting the videos charts uh, trade setups etc and then of course the master class which I will be giving away this month so make sure you guys subscribe comment and uh, like this video and that will give you an entry uh, for a drawing onto the master class um, you can do it on every video that I do this month and at the end of the month I will go ahead and do a new drawing for it but um, make sure you guys jump in there all right cool let's go ahead and jump into the charts and we're just going to start off here on uh, Bitcoin from where I was uh, yesterday this is the exact chart that was in the video for what I was looking for uh, for a move down we definitely got the move down and um, on Bitcoin here we did get a pretty decent reaction um, right through uh, the box that I was looking at. So I did have some buy orders that got picked up. Um, we had a little bit of a wick through, um, a little bit lower than what I was expecting. Um, the only thing to pay attention to that would say um, there may be some further downside um, is this for it to potentially be a wave four, uh, basically come back up, retest the pivot, get a rejection, then come back down to 17.6 roughly. Um, so that is something to pay attention to. Uh, we'll dive into the smaller time frames because there's a uh, the smaller time frame. I think it's pretty set up to have a pretty decent move to the upside. Um, but we'll take a look at that um, here in a second. Uh, but anyway, um, came down, hit the 18, uh, pretty strong reaction, had a wick down to the 17.7. Um, obviously in these markets, they're pretty volatile, so there, there will be some, some wicks here and there. Um, but the next really area of support was that 17.6 uh, that I was looking at. So um, we did have a pretty strong pivot close here at the 618 of the overall move down, um, as well as, um, you know, the two... 0.618 right in here as well so pretty strong reaction um, now the question is you know where do we go from here right so uh, we did have a very nice buy signal uh, down here on the market liberator um, as well as some of these other indicators such as the CB index the RSI um, they you know were com they're completely reset um, you know based upon this move down um, you know we have the RSI uh, which went below the bearish control zone CB index um, lowest point that it's been at since it was back here when it was in 16k so a pretty nice reset um, the only thing we'll want to pay attention to is a possible uh, rejection here at 18650 we'll call it uh, for another potential move down so let's go ahead and just look at the five or the 15 minute here same chart 
Uh, but what I do like about this move up is that it came up in a five wave move. So it bounced impulsively, which is a strong move. Um, that means that, um, you know, if it starts with five, it needs to end with five. So it could still be an ABC. Um, however, the chances of this being a fourth wave uh, definitely diminish, um, being that it started off with an impulsive bounce. So that is what I like to see uh, for a type of reversal, I guess you can say. So we can clearly see um, here, for those of you not familiar with Elliott Wave, um, I'll go ahead and draw it out and show you what I mean by a five wave move. But basically we have a one, two, three, four, and a five. So that is what I mean by a five wave impulsive move. Um, it looks to be that we had our ABC come back. ABC, three wave correction. And it looks to me like we we're starting off um, another potential impulsive wave up to the upside. So um, I'm looking for further upside, uh, but the main one that I want to pay attention to um, was right here at this pivot at the 18640. Let's throw a price label on there. So that is my big one that I want to pay attention to. Um, just because we got to get back over this, this is now going to be pretty decent resistance um, as it was support right back in here, as well as, um, you know, resistance back here. So that's what we'll need to get back over um, before we start looking at um, getting up to new highs and possibly breaking um, 20K. So, uh, but overall, pretty good buy signal. The last time we had uh, one uh, was back here. Let's see, where is one right there? So right here, boom, boom, on the four hour, that was our last buy signal as well as back here. So um, obviously these ones, um, you know, we didn't have one since and that was back at 10K. So 10K to 18K. So not all of them turn into obviously an $8,000 move. Um, you know, that happened quite a decent amount in consolidation, but even, you know, back here, which is kind of similar to what we're in right now uh, with this three wave correction for an ABC, um, you know, had one right here and that still resulted in, let's see here, from a low to high, still resulted in a 20% swing to the upside. So um, obviously still looking for a decent move up. Uh, it's just a matter of when, but really that 18.6 is going to be the big one for me to get over. So that's going to be my near term target. Might take a little off the table, uh, but I am looking to get up there at least. Okay. Uh, let's jump into ETH real quick. Um, ETH played out beautifully uh, per the video yesterday for the drop down. Um, you can see I was looking for the pocket right here. Um, remember I said ETH loves that 786. Well, it didn't quite get to it. However, this little pocket right here uh, was exactly what I was looking for. Come back down, retest these EMA here. But that 535, the 525, boom. Uh, it's, it's, um, that is precision is what I would say. So nice little buy order. Again, picked up. Um, you can see ETH almost already back up at the pivot at 581. Um, but um, on a smaller time frame, we'll dive into that as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like it, you know, kicked off in a, in a five wave impulsive move as well. One, two, three, four, five, um, ABC correction. Um, you know, we could still be in a little bit of a correction here in regards to just an A, this would be the B wave, we'll come back down for the C and then kick off again. Uh, but looking, uh, looking pretty strong, um, especially getting back up here off the five wave move where we are holding into the bullish control zone, um, just even on a 15 minute. So that's good to see. Um, so still looking for a little bit further move up. Um, and next point, if we do break over the 582, I'd look at the R1, which is at 628. That's what I'll call it here. But really, this what we could be looking at is this just being a wave one, two, going up for a three, four, and a five. Um, if this is a wave one, That would be something like this, which wave three would get us right up to that 629. Um, and then with the fifth wave, that's if nothing gets overextended, that 657 to 664 uh, right there in that pocket. So uh, this will be the first hurdle to 
to clear and get over though for ETH. 582 will be the big one. So, but still looking for a good continuation up. Um, you can even see back on ETH the last time we had that buy signal um, was right back down here. Where you can see we did go up, but we came back down a little bit, retested the pivot. I don't think we're going to have that kind of a swing come back down. Um, it is possible, but I mean, we may bounce off of the pivot here a little bit and then come down and then reset and take off. But um, that last buy signal on ETH gave us, let's see, it was down here. So I'll just again, low to high. Uh, that was a 31%, almost a 32% swing to the upside. So not too shabby. Um, let's take a quick look at some Tezos, XTZ. Um, man, again, not too bad. Actually, I wish I would have placed a, a buy order down here on Tezos, but I did not. Um, I don't want to try and get pulled in too many different directions, but um again same thing uh we had this drop i was looking at basically two basically come down to two um had a little box that I would save for buy up and we came down to 2.03 um which is um quite beautiful i must say so it's right above the 618 also right above the s3 for support um but again nice little buy signal um and so with XTZ on Tezos, um, being that we had this three wave move up, this does look like a three wave move down. Um, we're looking for a five wave move up, but um, it, this looks to be more of a C wave versus like, um, you know, an impulse of like a, a fifth wave, which would potentially be on ETH and Bitcoin here. So um, I would still be looking for a five wave move up. Um, we can start to, you know, kind of project out a little bit here. And let's say, um, you know, it's going to take some time to for out, form out, but I would be looking to get up to roughly 2.7. So, uh, you know, it's not too late to get in. I think there's still some decent upside, um, you know, some pretty nice buy signals. Um, XTZ actually had a few of them print um, down, down this or during this whole dump to the downside here. Um, but, you know, taking that one out, the last one that we had, um, that one resulted in almost a 50% a swing to the upside from low to high. So uh, look for a pretty decent reaction. Um, I would you know, honestly look to get roughly 2.7, um, you know, which is still a pretty decent swing on XTZ. So not too bad, I must say. All right, last one, Link. Let's see. Same thing. Um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed when I was looking at Link yesterday. Uh, I was looking at it to be fairly weak, honestly, um, and you know I'm still not super super impressed. We do have that dis this descending trend line. We need to break if we're going to even think about trying to um, get up there again, which we are fast approaching, pretty much there already. Um, but this whole thing, we've just had rejection after rejection after rejection. Uh, but again, nice little buy signal. But I was looking for us to potentially just break this uh, trend line right here, uh, which we did. Came down just uh, right above the S3 at 11.2. Uh, we hit 11.5, it looks like, 11.54. Um, so again, pretty close from the expected analysis yesterday so if we do break this trend line here then i'd be looking for continuation to the upside and have it basically have that as a confirmation we want to break it want to close and then uh, potentially look for further up but the fact that we had this type of response from this price point um you know it gives me some confidence that you know we'll be able to break this trend line and have um, some more movement to the upside um, overall for link um, you know it's kind of what I said before it doesn't look the best just in regards to this potentially being just an overall B wave um, in regards to that I mean a down B up and then another C down um, but what we can turn into is if this draws out a little bit more uh, would be um, let's see, be a W, X, Y, X, Z, um, you know, do something like that. Basically where we come up, um, 
set a new high, but overall this still looks like it would be corrective, which means we would still need to come back down to the downside to reset. So um, we still can definitely break up, um, but being that this is coming across very corrective means we need to still come back down with, I'd say, like a C wave um, before we can actually take off running again for, for Link, in my opinion. So um, all in all, um, looking for some continuation to the upside at the moment. Uh, just a matter of how high. Uh, there's a couple key points we need to retake again before we uh, start getting super bullish again, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, we could definitely do so uh, with the way that we have come down, the way that we have reset, um, whether it's a C wave um, or potentially a new impulsive wave. So, again, guys, if you like my content, make sure you guys subscribe, smash the likes, um, comment below for your entry to the masterclass. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the Discord.